Welcome back to the channel Movie Summarization. Today we present a synopsis of the movie Sick 2022. Tyler Murphy, a college student, is trailed by an enigmatic person while shopping at a convenience store in April 2020 during the COVID-19 epidemic. The masked intruder ambushes Tyler as he enters his house and kills him. Parker Mason brings Miri Woodlow, her best friend, to her family's lake property for quarantine. Parker receives a mysterious text message as they reach the remote lake cottage. The girls go to a tiny pier to sunbathe when Parker sends them both another message. Later on that day, as they watch the news, the two engage in a drinking game centered around Dr. Anthony Fauci. When he knocks on the door, an unidentified visitor standing in the driveway is unresponsive. With a knife, Parker steps outside but no one is there. The person who entered through the rear door was later identified as DJ, Parker's fling who dropped by the lake house without permission. The three decide to go to bed after smoking marijuana and dancing in the evening. DJ confronts Parker about an Instagram image that showed her kissing a man named Benji at a party after Mary departs for a room. Parker rejects DJ's suggestion that they become serious partners, so DJ promises to leave the house in the morning instead. DJ then exits the building to his car, but as he turns around, a man in a mask walks inside. The intruder snatches everyone's phones as they are all sound asleep. When loud music starts to play from downstairs, DJ and Parker are awakened. DJ tells Parker to leave the home and wait in his car after he observed the intruder. Parker yells outside to get Mary awake as she sees the burglar slip into her room via the window. While DJ struggles with the trespasser inside, Mary rushes to join Parker in the vehicle. DJ almost manages to escape, but the intruder knocks him to the ground and stabs him several times. Parker exits the vehicle to look when the door opens and DJ shuffles outside. She quickly notices that DJ's feet are not on the ground and that the invader is holding DJ up by piercing his back with a tapestry banner. After killing DJ, he pursues the girls in the car as they flee. The automobile becomes stuck, and they are pursued by the invader. Parker and Miri try to reach the roof, but Miri is knocked to the ground. Running to the kitchen, Parker tackles the intruder. Then another intruder comes in, horrified to discover their companion hurt and perhaps dead. Miri is discovered outside by Parker, who orders her to pretend to be dead despite having a broken leg. The second invader chases Parker toward the water after concluding that Miri is dead. She releases a floating dock and launches herself in the direction of the neighbor's home. The intruder emerges from the water in the middle of the lake, stabbing Parker and forcing her to swim the remaining distance. When she gets to the neighbor's house, he pulls out a shotgun and demands that she phone the police. Unfortunately, he is fatally stabbed right afterwards, and Parker is once more pursued by the intruder, who is now armed with a shotgun. As she enters the house again, Mary creates a split out of a chair leg and cling wrap. The initial invader awakens and turns against Mary, who eventually subdues him with a lethal stabbing. Parker manages to reach the main road and briefly brings the invader to the ground as a car approaches. She begs the female driver to assist her, but the driver insisted that she put on a mask before getting into the vehicle. Parker accepts the driver's offer of a spare mask, which later proves to be laced with chloroform and renders Parker unconscious. Parker is put through a COVID-19 test while the driver and the intruder follow her back to the lake house. The deceased invader is revealed to be the couple, Jason and Pamela, who are married. Jason and Pamela are the parents of the two. They disclose that Benji, the boy Parker was seen kissing on Instagram, is their youngest son, who passed away from COVID-19 in the intervening year. They believe Parker infected him at the party since she tested positive on the COVID-19 test, and they want to avenge him by killing her. They also admit to killing Tyler Murphy, who was responsible for infecting her. Using a laptop, Mary tries to call 911, but Jason discovers the active Wi-Fi and destroys the router. Jason goes outdoors to look after Mary since he thinks she might not be dead after all. Parker is being threatened by Pamela, but Mary sneaks up and knocks her out. After Jason gives them pursuit around the house, the two defenestrate her and shove him over a landing so he can be impaled on antlers. In order to locate a new means of transportation, Parker and Mary flee to a neighboring barn, but before they can get there, Pamela shows up and attacks them. Pamela gets covered in gasoline while fighting Parker, 
which Mary uses to set her ablaze. The two friends are watching Pamela burn when the police show up.